Well, good morning. Welcome to the Sunday devotional for today. I'm Jamie, and it's great that you could be with us today. We hope it's been a good week for you and that your Sunday's off to a great start. I know I've had better weeks. My allergies have been acting up. My phone got shattered. and But despite all that, it's still been a great week, and I can't complain. You know, uh, in preparing for today, I was thinking about some different things for uh, the sermon that Pastor Scott's bringing for today. And in one of our meetings, we had talked about this concept, and we wanted to just recap it for our devotional for today. But if if you remember the scripture, um, it's a pretty popular scripture, but it says, Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. And we, we say that scripture a lot, and I think it's something, you know, sometimes those kind of scriptures can become cliche. One area where, where it could apply is with the idea of influence and the idea of being shaped and molded. And, you know, we are, we are in a unique environment, kind of can find ourselves in this tug of war of being influenced by it or influencing it. And day to day, that might change and be a struggle. We might have victories. We might have setbacks. But I wanted to teach a concept for today that might help us prepare for uh, prepare for that, and maybe how we can have the right mindset as we as we face uh, pressures and expectations and uh, that tug of war that we might find ourselves in in this world. Well, the the parable and the concept is really simple. It's really about three things, and one of those things is an egg. Right here. Probably one of the cheapest ways to get protein. Another thing we're going to talk about is coffee. I have a K-cup. Probably the most convenient way to have coffee nowadays. The third thing, which I don't have, I have some in the freezer, but I don't have it on me, is a potato. And so, an egg, coffee, and a potato. So three different things, three different uh, things to consider. But I want you to give them all the same environment, which would be a pot of boiling water. And that pot of boiling water in our... A lesson today is going to be the world and its expectations and its preconceived notions and its pressure that it may apply in just daily life. So for the egg, when the egg goes into that boiling water, it has a soft yolk to begin with, but that boiling water hardens that shell up. And so the egg starts off soft, but the environment of the boiling water literally changes the egg. It takes the egg from being soft and sensitive and delicate and makes it hard and hardened to the point that everything that makes it soft is essentially gone. So the egg starts out soft, and the environment makes it hardened. Then I want to move to the potato. So imagine a nice big potato or sweet potato, and that potato starts out firm. And, man, there's some big potatoes I've seen. Those things start out pretty firm, but when you put that thing in boiling water... It does the opposite of the egg. The egg starts off soft and becomes hardened. Now you take that hard potato, you put it in that boiling water, and once that boiling water is done with it, that environment makes that potato soft. To the point that you can mash it. If it's a sweet potato, you could add some 
brown sugar and marshmallows on it maybe, cinnamon. But that environment of the world, that boiling water, takes the egg and it turns it from soft to hard. And that potato that came into the, the situation all firm and tough gets bullied by that boiling water. Next thing you know, it's mashed potatoes. So two different things thrown into the environment of the boiling water. In the world, the boiling water literally transforms the potato and the egg into the opposite of what it was. Crazy, huh? But then comes along coffee. And coffee is a game changer because coffee says, you know what? Boiling water, go ahead and bring your A game, man. Do what you got to do, boiling water. And when that coffee is exposed to boiling water, the coffee is not changed. In fact, the coffee says, you know what, boiling water, you're not going to change me. I'm going to change you. In fact, I'm going to make you into coffee. And so the things that the potato and egg couldn't do, you know, the potato and egg were affected by the environment. They were changed by the environment. But here comes coffee, and coffee says, you know what? Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. I'm going to change my environment. And coffee changes that boiling water into coffee. It replicates itself in a difficult environment. And it leaves victorious, achieving what the potato and egg could not do. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. Don't forget who you are, whose you are. And don't have this defeated mentality. God has made you to be a change agent. Wherever you walk into, whatever building you walk into, whatever school, whatever place of employment, you are going to change that place. Like coffee, turning boiling water into coffee. Let's pray. Lord, I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for the, uh, just the eye-opening that you give us in your word. And Lord, I pray that we would see things in a different way, that we would not have a defeated attitude like that we are getting bullied or like we are pushovers, that we are given to every battle and tug of war we face that we are going to be pushed around like the potato and the egg but lord give us give us some toughness and some assertiveness to realize who we are and whose we are that we can have an impact on our environment that we find ourselves in and that we would take advantage of that opportunity because greater are you who is in us than that who is in the world Lord, help us to live that way. Help us to live that way. With that victory you give us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, guys, be sure to stick around at 1045 for our worship service. It's going to be a great time. And we hope you have a great rest of your week. We're glad you could spend the day with us. We'll see you next time. Take care.